All right, today we're creating this schema fake toggle button in Figma. Let's get right into it. I have simplified the process or the steps I used to achieve this toggle button. And I'm going to show you the steps. There are three rectangles that I used to achieve what you're seeing here. I'm going to take you step by step in a simplified way. So the first thing you're going to do is to click R on your keyboard and draw a rectangle. Don't worry, let's just change the color first so you can see what we're doing. So this rectangle, I'm going to give it a width of 1192. All right. So, and I'm also going to give it a height of 600. So I'm only using this measurement so that you can see what I'm doing very well, but try to use measurement according to your design. So for the corner radius, I'm going to give it as much as, let's give it a 400. Good. So let's go to the fill color here and give it a fill of 525050. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is to go to stroke. I'm going to click the plus sign here and go to stroke. So I'm going to change the stroke to a radial if here. Okay. So this stroke now I'm going to have so many, I'm going to like um, work on the effect here. So for this first one, I'm going to give it a color. This first, this first effect that goes on here, I'm going to give it a color of seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. That's the first color. While the second one, I'm going to give it a color of D zero, D zero, three, zero. All right. So let's add different other. So for this one, let's give it a color of B6, B5, B5. You can go ahead once you're done learning this whole thing and like practice on your own, find out what works and what doesn't work. Right. So for this last one, I'm going to try to give it a color as 7676, 7575. Right. So what I'm going to do to this um, stroke section here, I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to select center. Then I'm going to give the width here of the stroke as much as 90. Right. So now you can see what we were doing. But let's try to position this very well I'm going to try to play around this for a bit now the reason why it's having these lines going on here is because these colors that I have in between in the middle here they are not like stretched to 100% so I'm going to stretch it all up to 100% I'll do same for all of them. Right. So let's try to find a better positioning for this. Okay. This is perfect. Now, the, another thing we're going to give to this thing is to go to effect. For the effects, I click the drop down and I'm going to change this to inner shadow. Then I'm going to come here and click effect setting. So for the Y side, I'm going to leave it at zero. For the X side, I'm going to leave it at seven. Right. Then the blow, I'm going to give it as much as 25. Mm, then let's spread it to a hundred. Let's make it to 25. Right. So what, I'm, what I was trying to create was the depth. So it's going to be like there's another shape. Um... I want it to be what I did was I created like a depth in this section here. So this middle section here looks like it's something that is inside the outer section, right? So that is the reason for the effects that you see saw here. So the next thing is so the next thing is to create the second rectangle, right? I'm just going to use it to create more like a borderline around this one. So I'm going to hit R on my keyboard and I'm going to draw a shape then i'm going to take click this section here take my color picker and pick this color here all right so what i'm going to do is to give this rectangle a definite size which is one two seven eight for the width 
and for the height i'm going to give it as much as 690 don't worry i'm going to make adjustment once i put it in the other shape here so what is going to give me this that borderline effect is stroke so i'm going to click the plus sign here on the, the side stroke and i'm going to give it a linear stroke right so for this one i'm going to change the color to 807c7c while the second one i'm going to change the color to e a e a e a all right so the opacity for the swan remains at zero while the swan remains high then i'm going to give the weight of the stroke as much as a 10 all right so another thing is to round the corners up to a 400 so let's close out the fill here. So I'm going to take this and position it here. So let's make adjustment because I want it to be like in. I'm going to increase it just a little bit. Come to this section again. Increase it just a little bit. All right. I think we've gotten what we want. So for the top to third rectangle we're going to click r on the keyboard and draw a shape let's give the width of the rectangle one one zero zero then for the height let's give it a five one one so it's not going to have a fill too what i'm going to do is to give it a stroke right i'm going to click on the stroke and i'm going to get the, change the color to a eight zero eight zero eight zero i'm going to leave the stroke to be centered Going to click on center then i am going to give it as much as a six all right so let's round the corners as much as 400. i'm trying to create more depth around inside this place here around this thing this dark section i want it to be like go inside to have more of a real life button effect so i want to give it more depth so i'll take this sh shape i created here and i'll place it here but i'm going to go ahead and close the fill color around it right all right so i think we're getting there so let's go ahead and create this small button this button here so what i'll do is click o on my keyboard and i'll hold on to shift and i'll draw a shape but for this shape i want it to have a definite width and a height so i'm going to give the width and the height a 428 right so i'm going to give it a different fill color let's give it a white fill color so let's also make it a linear okay so for the first one let's give it a an ad 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 right so for the second one this second one i'm going to give it as much as and i'm going to make it as much as 100 All right so let's try to play around it a bit right so let's go and give it a, another effect a stroke effect here so for the stroke effect i'm still going to give it a linear effect so for this first color here let's give it as much as a white and for the second color let's give it as much as a let's give it this color code a5 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 so the linear is inside and we're going to give it as much as a 30 all right so you can see we now have a button with so much depth in it so another thing again we're going to do for this beautiful button is to give it go to effects here and create a drop shadow this drop shadow i am going to give the x side a 10 while the y side let's give it as much as a 50 right so for the blur i'm going to make the blur a 25 right while the spread is zero but the effect here the color is i'm leaving it at black which is zero 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 but i'm going to give it as much as a 55 right so let's create another effect same drop shadow but let's give it a different setting here the x will remain at zero while this y section let's give it as much as 70 four the blur should be 100 all right why the spread should be five then this section here let's give it as much as 45 
all right so our button is ready so i'm going to take this button and chuck it in here then let's create our text for the text i'm going to click on t on my keyboard and i'm going to type um, we have off right so you, we can give it a bit of a let's place it here i'm going to reduce this sophia sounds let's give it a 300 all right but i'm going to give the test to some effects so let's go to effect and give it a drop shadow no let's give go to effect give it a drop shadow now let's give it an inner shadow so let's change this section to the x sections to be t three y the y section is minus seven the blocks should be as much as six and the color should let's give it to let's try white all right but for this white let's make it as much as a 50. okay mm, not bad now let's make it a 45. all right so this is this for that let's also add another inner shadow let's give this one let's let's this one x be at zero this one should be a 94 while the blush should be as much as a 119 okay so let's leave this one at 45 right so it's not like there's a definite um there's where you get this sizing or the settings this effect settings you just have to try it i've tried it multiple time and this worked and that's why i'm showing it to you right so you can see our button is working very well so far if you found value in this tutorial please subscribe to my youtube thank you okay so the next test we're going to create is the on text right on we have the on button so once you type this one i'm going to try to change the color to a green right then what i'm going to do right now is to to click on this frame go to frame create a frame around what we have here but before then let's select everything here i just held on to my mouse and i selected all this area here i'm going to right click and i'm going to group this selection then i'm going to go to frames here and i'm going to add a frame around it but i'm going to remove the fill color right so i'm going to take this on button that we have here and i'm going to select the three items here on and the and the this button and off here let's arrange it very well right i'm going to select the select the on select this one and i'm going to create a group let's position this very well so this one i want it to be out right but inside the frame but it's out inside the frame so i'm going to bring it into the frame all right so what i'm trying to do is to create that effect that toggle effect that you see that i was doing when i started the video right so i want this flow so once you click on the toggle this other one pops up from this section and the other way around so i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to change this one here i'll just move this one out move it outside come to this section put it back into the frame then i'm going to change this one here and i'm going to go to the frame and i'm going to find the on here and i'm going to bring it to the section here all right so what i'm going to do now is to select the two of them and create a component set so i'm going to click on this one go to prototype click on it and connect it to the second one but let's create a bit of space here move this one down on tap it moves here so let's play our prototype i'm going to cl click on f on my keyboard and i'm going to draw a frame let's take this one and chuck it in here let's see what we have done so let's play this prototype and 
all right so i was supposed to return the favor now here i return it back to this one so when you click on it it just toggles on and off so you can go ahead and add the effect that i added here there's an, a bit of effect that i added on this section here you can just add it and send it for <laughs> for feedback so for bonus what i used was i used this ellipse here and i i did i chucked it in somewhere so that is your assignment thank you for coming to today's design with pam i'll see you next tutorial